What's up guys, Jared here, Paintbrush Samurai. Today I'm going to talk about how I was able to memorize over 600 kanji just in January of this year. Alright, sounds like a lot, but it's really actually not that difficult. Alright, if you don't know what kanji are, they're basically just uh, Japanese characters and there's like thousands of them in order to memorize their writing system, so it's really complicated, but that's not important. What we're going to focus on is how to memorize different stuff. All right, and this can come in use for anything, any type of classes that you have, if you're going to school, if you're still in high school, or if you're just learning and you need to memorize a lot of stuff. I found this program is really helpful, so we're gonna check it out, and I'm gonna show you guys about it. All right, so, the program that you're gonna wanna download to memorize a lot of stuff is this one right here. It's called Anki. All right, where can you get this? You go to Google and you just go to Enki.com and it'll come right up. Right, right there, boom, click there, you download it, and you get this. Alright, Enki. Now this is what the program looks like when it's open. Alright, so why is this program so effective? All right, well this program is basically just flashcards, all right, but they're smart flashcards. So I'll just go ahead and do an example for you, all right. Down here, I'm, the blue cards are cards that I have not yet seen or learned, but right now I'm doing 25 a day, so that's not that much, but over the course of this first month, it's gotten to me over 600, all right. Now the orange cards are review cards, which means that I saw them today, and I got them wrong, <laughs> so I have to redo them. And the green cards are going to be review cards from previous days. All right, so this one's a review right here. Um, this one, I don't remember, but I think is going to be brown. So let's look, boom, it is brown. This is what comes up after you answer a flashcard. You can choose again, or good, or edit. Now, why would you want to edit? Well, when you edit things, you have the card. For me, I put the constituents in there, so kanji have different breakdowns, and all these little symbols mean different stuff. So you can put notes about there, and you can also put little stories to help you memorize them, which are really helpful. These are called M mnemonics. All right. If you don't know about M mnemonics, Google them. Do some research about them. I'll give you a quick breakdown of what they are. Basically, what of an mnemonic is, is is when you take things that you already have memorized, and then you apply new things to them to help you memorize other things much more quickly, right? So, for example, you got this one right here. This little symbol right here, the one that looks kind of like a coat hanger, that's like a a coat or like a suit. Right, this one is day or sun, and this one means siesta, which is like a nap. Right, so you come up with an M mnemonic, which is basically a story connecting them all. Right, so my package is late. Imagine a UPS driver dressed in brown garments taking a siesta. Right, so you know that he's wearing some kind of clothing suit. And uh, he's taking a nap, and that's why your package is late. And when you think packages, you think UPS, which, what can Brown do for you, right? So this helps me memorize this kanji just a little bit better. And you can pretty much do this with anything that you're learning. Now, what's cool about these that I briefly touched on earlier is this is a review, so the maximum I can do is one day. But for other cards, okay, I'm just going to get all review right now. But if you get to the green cards, and let's say the card was super easy, there'll be an easy button. And then that card will be timed out, let's say, maybe four days. All right? So four days later, I'll see that card. If it's still easy, I click easy again, and I won't see that card for maybe 20 days. Right? Still easy, then I won't see it for two months. And it gradually gets bigger. And these intervals were specifically designed by some super smart people, like MIT type people, and uh, they took how long you, on average, forget stuff. And um, 
and that's what they based upon all of these. So normally you'll get four options, hard, good, or easy, right? And if you do hard, it'll be a small interval, and um, these intervals will increase or decrease based on you getting the answer right or wrong and how difficult it was. And they're specifically designed to be an interval of time that it would normally take you to forget something. So normally if something is easy for you to remember, it'll take you four days of not seeing it before you forget it on average. So every card that you get is easy starts off with four days of time intervals. And if at any point in time you get it wrong, you go back to the orange cards like I showed you, which are review cards of the same day, and you have to restart the whole process. You're back at one day, and then you gradually get better. This is a super effective way of memorizing things. So if you guys got a lot of studying to do, a lot of self-study, hopefully, uh, you guys should definitely download this program one more time. That is Anki flashcards. Download them and enjoy the power of memorization.